Hey, hey, everybody! Big Dave the Middle Aged Gaming here with another episode of Sim Settlements 2 for Fallout 4. But we're not really doing Sim Settlements 2 right this second. Did a little poking around. This is from the Capital Wasteland Group. This is basically a redux of Mothership Zeta. So, welcome to the first part of Fallout 3 on Fallout 4. And it's kind of gone backwards. Back at you, buddy. You know, dog yeah. being cute behind me is not helping. <laughs> Alien cat fight. Well, uh, okay. We should get going. <clears throat> okay. So we can't really talk to Roger. And... That's one hell of a nice looking weapon. But we are missing the big picture here. Because with an, another companion, we now suddenly have three. Okay, that didn't really help, but whatever. Okay, so what are we doing now? Go to the bridge. Okay, save. Before we do something stupid. All right, a new helmet, maybe. Well, it's a damn sight better than the army helmet. All right, let's see how goofy we look with it on. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Random wastelander. Another wastelander. All right. Another space person. Alright, let's take a look at the space suit, which I think Kyle classifies as 
Yeah, the helmet counts as armor, but the suit counts as... Crap. <laughs> and... What is with the door here? Openable. But somehow I don't think it's the way we need to be going, is it? Or is it? Hmm. Okay, the other way is another door. Alright, fine, we go this way. Okay, take a wild guess and say we go this way. Let's have a laugh and see how bad the map is. Actually, that's not bad. Hmm. Hey there. Yeah, you, so you say. Well, at least they're not hostile. Not gonna lie, this is completely fascinating and pretty cool looking. Having played Mothership Zeta on Fallout 3 before, this looks pretty close, though it's been a, quite a while. By the way, anybody else notice the gag here with uh, our alien friend being named Roger? Comment down below if you figured it out. Bless you, pup. Okay. So we've pretty much looted this spot. All right, we move on. Now I'm pretty sure that they're all not just going to let us let us walk around all willy vanilla here. Yeah, as you can tell, the workers are completely chill. I like that. And it said there's a workshop here somewhere. Okay, that's to the bridge. It's a teleporter. There is a way out of here. Alright, so we're going to save before all hell breaks loose. At least I'm expecting all hell to break loose. 
kill the alien? Yeah. That's it, and I guess they aren't gonna need that anymore. Okay. Alien has a sweet roll. There's a joke in there somewhere. Okay. Okay, it's a gun. Okay, it's a melee weapon. Okay, 60 damage, medium attack. Increased damage and chance to knock down enemies. Alright, compared to the sword we got. Weapon? Damage is comparable. Although well, that's better with crits and critical refill rate. I might stick with the uh the suppressor. This is where we came in from, yes. Okay. Observation deck. Wait, hold up. So, hold on. Hold on. This is a settlement? Sorta. Okay. Not compatible with some settlements. find the workshop thing. What I would also like to do is... Okay, we need to explore this a bit more. Okay, there is a way out to the Commonwealth. That's good. is absolutely banana wackies. And this is the way out to the Commonwealth? Yes, it is. Okay. Good to know, but we're going to wait off on that. What the hell is that? Hello, Roger. Empty pod. Okay. What is this? The archway has restored some of your... Nice! Okay, so that's the way we came in from. Alright, we need to explore a good bit more of this place. That is to the bridge, right? Yeah. 
Let's do the hangar. We actually want the one to the Commonwealth. Not so we can actually go there, but because we're going to do something completely silly. Okay, I think there's only two different... Shop. Never mind. Okay. Okay, we're gonna unload everybody's junk. Hey, what do you need? Roger. We're going to unload everything that we can. All the stuff that is just not necessary right now for whatever reason. Actual blaster hits harder than the than the atomizer. I don't know why. I'll have to look at those a little more carefully, but right now. Okay. The Captain Outfit is an undersuit? Captain Outfit is an undersuit. See? But it ain't worth jack, so. Funk it. That, oh, okay. That's the bandana from the uh, Red Rocket guy. Okay. Actually. Hey, what is it? Yeah. Not much of a difference, but it's something. Alien squid food eats heals five health. Same thing with the worm food. Well, on the on the bright side, it's looks like free heals. Alien biogel heals thirty percent, kind of like a stim pack, but not as good. All right. That's fine. We'll check the south route. Okay. So it looks like the only hostiles were the captain and the crew up on the bridge. 
Everybody else seems incredibly chill. Or at least on the observation deck level. I have not poked around the hangar yet, nor have I set this thing to go to Mars, so I can't tell you for sure yet. Okay. Don't need that. Alright, these guys are just walking around, chilling. that alien epoxy for a second. Yeah, adhesive. That's what I thought. Well, adhesive is always good, so... Alright. Back out the outer ring, and we keep exploring. Okay, this is their stash of stuff they've collected from Earth. I guess they would consider some of this stuff artifacts of unknown origin. Alright, we're way down again. Kettles. Okay. Ceramic plates. Lamps. Umbrellas. Oven mitts. Boston bugles. An active distress pulsers. Bowling balls. Okay. End of the line there. Jukeboxes. Look at the gemstones. The gemstones are crystal. Okay. Probably better unload some of that. Some power stuff. armor pieces. Nice. Helmets. Combat armor helmet. Is that better than what I'm wearing? Okay. Yeah, let's stick with the combat armor helmet. Darn right. It's not as goofy looking as the space helmet. Okay. Handcuffs. Oh, look out, Roger. Globes. Gas canisters. Extinguishers. Hammers. I guess that's where the microscopes were. Trifold flags. Cigarettes. Bowling pins. Red boxes, chess boards, bags of cement, coolant, coffee pots, coffee cups, coffee tins, apraxos, blow torches, circuit boards, a Roger. 
Duct tape. Heck yeah. Light bulbs. Cameras. Hollanders. Bases. Sure. More Abraxo. Board games. Bats. There's bats, there's balls. Gloves. Alright. Cake pans. Turpentine. Shopping baskets. Teddy bears. Plungers. Sensor modules. Okay. Paint brushes. Paint cans. Cheapo batteries. Oil cans. Lots of junk. Okay. Come on, pup. We got stuff we need to drop up. Come on, pup. <laughs> Yes, I've heard a lot about from a lot of people about dog meat consistently getting in the way. I have no idea what they're talking about. All right, so that's the hangar. All right. And yes, you have, in case you haven't noticed from my playstyle, I loot everything. I guess an easy way to find out would be to look at the doors. sleeping quarters. That's right. I have no idea what he said. Mm, okay. Do we have a gap here? No. It's just the seam of the map. It's weird. wary of charging Rogers. Okay, what do we have in here? Toilets. Okay. More alien stuff. A bathtub. Storage container with just a pen. Cappuccino machines. Not gonna lie, the aliens are kind of cute in their own way. The team did a terrific job recreating the Zaytans, and also proving that they're not all hostile. Kid, I wish I could understand you. Okay, more globes. You don't find many of those anymore. Files, desk lights, desk fans, empty storage. Or epoxy, absolutely. Don't mind if I do. I mean, we're not gonna have to worry about running out of crystal anytime soon. Yeah, you know, just as a figures, we start 
settlers start getting the ability to look for crystal and gotta beat him to the punch. Alright. Alright, not really worried about that right now. Uh, we gotta continue running around. Come on, Roger. I think this is the last spot, yes? It might be. Now what would really be cool as if the, this gave you the ability to create la alien blaster ammo. Because that is a rare ammo component to, co to find. Yeah! Yeah. Alright, that should just about take care of everything. Just about, but not quite. I think that will take care of everything on this level. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so this is fun and pretty and spinny. Is this the hangar? Okay, we're gonna drop out down into the hangar and take a look at that. place is pretty vast. Oh shit, nice. Okay, so this is where they're souping up all the good goodies. Big goodies. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad, helping free synths and all that. They don't sound too bad. Hold up. We're about to do something incredibly stupid. <laughs> Told you it was stupid. Just had to make sure. Yeah, I probably should loot everything here. That's still pretty darn cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've... Oh, I know. Actually, no, I don't. like to know is if they've done anything to us. No, they haven't. You'd figure being on that bed they probably would have done something to us, but...
Okay, this is where we came in from. And they got some giddy up buttercup parts too. And a whole bunch of tires. Oh yeah, they are really trying to figure out how earthlings do. Got news for you, little buddies. Even the earthlings don't know how the earthlings do. Alrighty then. How the hell do I get in there? I'd really like to know, but... Alright. That's enough shenanigans with the hangar. Let's get back. Of course, the $64 question here is, how the hell do I get back? Aha! Okay! Leave it to the good people of the Capital Wasteland Project to actually make the Fallout 4 map work. just to see exactly what it takes us. I guess you've got your reasons, but that just looks like junk to me. Well, that was fun. But, so fascinatingly enough, the alien place jumps us off right... Literally, right near... 
home base and sanctuary. That's crazy. Could not have planned that any better if I tried. Adapted alien biogel. Okay. That stuff weighs a bit, so we'll only keep a little bit on hand. And I'm going to just chew right through that. Put up the varmint meat. Okay. Okay, so. Since we're here. Take a look at what we got here. And what we got here... It's a Cobsworth that's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. What a shock. And we also have a doctor who's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. The two lunks who... Yeah. For whatever reason, non human or non-ghoul settlers tend to have a bit of a problem. So we just gather them up and put them back. Actually, yeah, I had Haas assigned here and Cudsworth sign here. And the food has not upgraded yet. Once Cosworth reassigns. Okay, so once this gets squared away... Alright. Because, yeah, we're still at that. They're having food issues bit again. Okay, and there is Lily at her clothing store. Alright. Back to the ship. If for no other reason that it's just really easy to re just grab stuff and go. Especially since the Commonwealth teleporter's right near the workshop. That's perfect. I mean I guess somewhere in the observation deck I could put I could put a bed for myself. That is right here. So, all, and we'll waddle our way back. And as I said before, I was not expecting it to be that close to a useful place. Honestly, I thought it was just going to dump me right outside the toy store. But I like this much better. And definite props to the uh, Capital Wasteland Development Team for putting this together. And for apparently Roger not counting as an, as an actual companion. Definite, definitely cool. I 
I wonder. Companions. You'd be custom, huh? So according to this, Roger is kind of plain Jane, which is fine. <laughs> Where are you going, little guy? Oh yeah, she's making a beeline right for me. Somebody's in trouble. Super Mutant looked at her wrong something. Roger's playing with the weapons. That's fine. Hey there, friend. Alright. We'll put the Lucky Revolutionary Sword up. Maybe somebody, maybe another uh, companion future one could find a use for it. Kate. Uh, right, I said I wanted to look at those later. Later hasn't come yet, so. All right. Put those up, because at some point we'll need to use them. All right. Put those up. anything uh, nothing more than usual all right always glad to see the man maybe you can help us against these super mutants they've been giving us no end to trouble super mutants i'm sure the general will make short work of them hey there friend we're in some real trouble <sighs> i'd be glad to help if i can it's these damn green skins the super mutants. Whenever they come through, we just have Again? to run away or hide. They take everything they can eat and destroy most everything else. And if they ever took us by surprise, we'd all be dead. We can't live like this. Please, you gotta help us. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were gonna do. What's good today? Okay. Fraternal Post 115. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Well, we're not quite done yet. No, that's not the way. Poking around the Zayden spaceship mod, so we're gonna head back. back to the bridge and the red rockets are upgrading so that's good is this the, nope that's the hangar you really are and one of the good guys you know 
I also have Perfect Pitch, mix a mean martini, and look fantastic in a tuxedo. I'll just have to take your word for all that. But seriously, <laughs> just listen for a second. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another, even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people, even when it isn't convenient or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters, that you're making a difference. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And thanks. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right, enough chit chat, huh? And that's the Captain Love one. So we'll eventually find the bridge. This has to be it. There we go. All right, so we're going to Mars. Insert joke about going to Uranus here. And welcome to Mars, where there is a workshop right in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Okay. You know I'm going to check. <laughs> oh my god. I think everything that's within this wall is is a buildable area. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my god. My first question, of course, is going to be, how the hell... Oh right, this is the bridge. Seriously. My first question is going to be, how the hell are you going to get a caravan all the way out there? And I think I need to do something to keep the... Okay. So we don't have anything there. But if we pull up the workshops... The observation deck, yeah, it's taken a hit. We... All right, 10 pounds, 72%. The red rockets, except... Really? Well, whatever they did is working right. That's good. But yeah, the observation deck is taking a bit of a hit here. And 
as I showed before. No some settlement stuff, so we're gonna have to do this old school. I wonder. The alien workers. Crap, I need local leader now. <laughs> I may have to do that with the next level for the sole purpose of getting these of getting these uh, Okay, so we can dismantle everything here on the observation deck and turn it into Although, now that I think about it, it makes perfect sense why we suddenly have to do this. We just killed the, we just killed the, the entire bridge crew. These guys are basically stuck here. Oh no, that healing archway is staying put. Okay, and if any of the uh, development team from Capital Wasteland uh, should be watching this, if I'm in uh, workshop mode, I should have the little uh, status bar across the top saying just, you know, how everybody's doing and how badly I'm screwing up. If for absolutely no other reason, then it's a lot easier then do have to go back and look. Okay, I'm getting a fair amount of steel from all of this, so I mean, that's something. All right, so we pretty much cleared out this. I didn't br Okay. Oh! <laughs> I can't access any uh, resources here either. Wonderful. No generators. Okay. Oh wait, Project Zeta. Furniture, decorations. That's it, huh? Invaders, broadcast center is about to be invaded. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot to do something.
Okay, so what did we learn? Mars is a giant buildable settlement from the ground up. Compatible with some settlements, even. Attention, King Gath. Opportunity. So, while this is loading up, it'll be interesting to see what this little wrinkle... Okay, so as you saw, the broadcast center is in the, is out God knows where. I think that's near Nordhagen Beach and uh, uh, Easy City Downs. I've never seen that place before. All right, so we got some stuff we need to sell, so we're going to go hit up Lily. Maybe. Middle of the day, she should be there. And okay, Cosworth hasn't broken off yet, so. Really? Yeah, I guess we're going to the bar. Once the food situation, is, as I said <laughs> numerous times, once the food situation here is squared away, this place will be. Okay, what in the bloody hell is going on? 4.30 and everybody's gone, huh? Oh, hello. Hey there. Why, hello. Always so nice to meet a new person. The name's Maggie Green. Former trader seeking a new life. Are you the one in charge here? It's nice to meet you. Ooh, polite too. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Too many ornery folk out there in the wasteland. Although... I suppose I can't blame them entirely for that. But I suppose that's why I'm here. I'm looking for a change, and settling down feels like the best option. Are you looking for able hands? Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Oh. <laughs> well, now, I can't say I've ever really thought of myself like that, but thank you all the same. So, where do you want me? Oh, okay. Mm. Only place I can think of. Hi, how are you doing? All right, Maggie Green. More than just a traitor? No. All right. Well, there's a trading spot. Hey there. What can I get you? Let's see what you've got. Let me know what you'd like. Mm hmm Well, it's something. Okay, place needs food. All right. Let's take a look at Abernathy Farm real quick.
Okay, for any of those who hear gunshots and immediately freak out upon entering a settlement, it's just Blake shooting from a more difficult position. Show off. Oh, hey, Audra's here. Okay, sweetie. What are you doing and what should you be She's actually pretty good. But I want you doing food, but I want you doing farming, sweetie. You're more of a natural for that. Okay. Is this the endurance one? Looks like the endurance one. I think it's all full up, right? Yeah. That might be better for you, sweetie. Okay, Julia and Katie working that. Okay. <coughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Frenchie Jr. Formerly the best singer in the Commonwealth. They say the smells bring back the strongest memories. You think that's true? Yes. For me, it's songs. I hear Baby Dummy wrong, and I write back a new Reno. Shit, that was a foul place, but it was alive, and my daddy could sing. He never made it off that street corner, but what a street corner it was. Of course, it was the jet that did him in. I didn't stick around, had no wish to end up like him. Made it out east with the only thing he ever gave me. My singing voice. Do you know I performed at the third rail? Yep, sure did. Many years, actually. Till Magnolia came. Oh, uh, it's not her fault. No, I just got old. And bronchitis or some shit like that damaged my voice. It was never the same. And it was only natural that Magnolia took over. Shit, sorry, stranger. Running my mouth. It's just I heard Magnolia on Diamond City Radio, and like I said, the song always takes me back. To hear her sing again? She's wonderful, isn't she? I'd go myself. But I'm banned from the third rail. Long story, don't ask. But do me a favor. Visit the third rail and record Magnolia singing with that pit boy of yours. A hollow tape recording I can listen to any time. What a treasure. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. You won't have to ask around. Magnolia will sing on request, if I know her. She might ask for some caps, though. I appreciate what you're doing. And the good news is, Mock Knox is doing exactly what he needs to do. But, boss, you need to be doing the strength training. Once endurance levels off, then I will put Audra there. Hmm. Defense taking a bit of a hit. All right, this place 23%. Everybody is ecstatic. So yeah, this place is running really well all of a sudden. Okay, all right. Okay, just check and make sure we still have some open places. We have at least one. Let's 
check upstairs. Okay. So, oh no, we got another here. Oh. So we got two still here, huh? Alright, so this place can go up to 14. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Hey there. Finally, some real business. I've got a few minutes to browse. Great! Alright, finally found somebody I can sell my junk to. to wait for this to finish building. What? Oh, no we don't. Won't be very difficult to find Audra. will be assigned to that endurance place. You won't find a better deal from here to Pluto. up another agility. Okay, right. Maybe? Yeah. Static guard tower. Okay, that doesn't count. Just trying to see what all else we got to do here. Okay, we still have a, an industrial plot. And oh, somebody opened up this one. Okay, fine. Guessing it's another Brahmin plot. Fine. All right, so we got one strength plot, strength spot, and three farming spots. Two beds left. Well, at least two. That other one could sprout, could sprout a multi. All right. 
Let's check Red Rocket, because that's going to be the first one to... Oh my god, it's up to 80%. But that's going to be the first one to pop up to level 2, so let's go take a look and see how they're doing. Okay, 50%. That's not showing me. Well, at least they're making the most of it. All right, and Templines is doing wonderful too. So we'll take a look at that real quick, see what's going on there, and then we will head to the Fraternal Order 115. We know that one very well. That's with the blind super mutant who summons help. So here we go. Okay, and here I thought I put a... Eighty percent. 
and it says it can hold up to 22 people, but we don't have the entertainment for that yet. Alright. I thought I put a placemat. Oh no, here it is. I'm putting it right there in front, of, in front of the workshop. That'll prevent that from happening. Apparently I forgot to take care of that. Oops. All right. Okay. Go to the Cambridge Police Station. We know it's safe. And we're going to take care of that little thing for my homies at Sanctuary. And that happens every time I switch from being settlement guy to being an adventurer guy. Forget to swap my weapons out. Then that happens. All right. So this is going to be quite literally all about sneaking. Well, this wasn't the right way. Normally, I go, I take the high road, but because this is not a sniper build, this is a me build, and I ain't no sniper. going to be hard to sneak up on anything in here. Well, if you shush, Preston, maybe I can do it. Oh, he's planting some bombs. He's planting some mines. You 
can always use more ammo. Let's load up. God damn it, Preston. Making a be alive. Oh, heck yeah. We can always use more ammo. Let's load up. level up. And... I know what I said I need. But that should be able to... But that can wait another level. Hard to detect while sneaking and running no longer adversely affects health. Yes. Now, the one thing about killing them here is that those super mutants who came in will be waiting for us outside. Nice. But for now, we're just going to loot the hell out of this place. thing in here. Yeah, obviously you kicked the bowling ball. That has to hurt. By the way, great name for a blind super mutant, dead eye. Okay, this little club here is a hell of a weapon. Doesn't do quite as much damage, but I get a lot more shots and vats, which is nice. And any chance to knock them down is a good thing. A lot of hiding places around here. Keep a sharp eye out. Preston, you visited Super Mutant Dents with me. You know how bad it is. It's weirdly peaceful in here.
Okay, we got one spot left, and it could be two words that, with the information we have, could be either. So, I'm going to need a little help. And it got rid of one of them, so there we go. There we go. I don't know a thing about these old computers. Well, that's okay, you don't need to. Remember, this is where, during my legendary run, I would take pot shots at him. Give Dead Eye credit, he did a hell of a job setting this place up so he'd feel safe. But, as I'm sure y'all noticed... Our voices will carry in here, so we should be careful. The rest of the squad did a perfect job of uh, coming to his aid if he asked for it. And if you remember talking to Strong on my last series, he said that, you know, super mutants watch out for each other. It's more of a, uh... I don't want to say hive mentality, but more of a collective. And that's the word I want to look for. Alright, that's everything. Let's get out of here. Well, didn't expect that to happen. There's usually uh, super mutants waiting for you when you get out, so the fact that I was able to sneak by, I'm not going to complain.
That is not a happy looking sky. And Carla's here. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Sure. Let's take a look. Always happy to make a sale. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting upgrades. No, kid. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. Well. Okay. So the same two dweebles are cutting out again. And the fact that Okay, and no joke, I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Or why the hell... This upgraded. Okay, so now we have to look for a spot that's actually missing somebody. Now water is being not affected. Wonderful. Oh, it's the perception one. That's actually good. So that is this water producer and we'll put him over here Sturgis. Yeah, setting up a, a car repair, that sounds like a Sturgis kind of place, doesn't it? He's grabbed that. We'll look and see what else got freed up and then figure it out from there. We are going to get everybody fixed up here. Okay. Now, let's see what's been shaking loose here. down here.
slow down. Now that's freed up some strength. Okay. Oh, I, I think I know the answer to that. But we're gonna jack each one of these places. is in strength training, so it's not him. If I had to guess, it's probably Mama Murphy. Citizen finished setting up a ta factory at Ted Punk. Okay. Her chickens. Anybody else hear chickens? Okay. Put Mama Murphy at the strength spot. And that will free up a luck. Alright, my question is do we have anybody? have anybody that doesn't this is who do we have that's assigned to something that does not require okay we got caravaneer who's got the park to herself fine what else do we have we have guards that's agility we have Water, that's perception. Power, that's intelligence. Farmers is endurance. Factory is strength. And the shopkeepers is charisma, but... Okay, no, this is actually where, exactly where I wanted. Because now this will allow me to build a new thing. And is desperately needed in this place for the next person to stroll in. This is actually kind of what I was waiting for. Let's 
power there, so that's not an issue. Got our shop. And you are just too funny, little guy. Okay, this place has already got some connections on there. So what we're going to make this, we're going to make this a janitorial place, sir. That was not what I wanted. And I got another radio I got to get rid of. Cemetery, communications, power transfer, tax collection. All right. Well, we don't have any of that with this. All right. Okay, that's not where we want. Caravan service. Okay. Nope. Had it right the first time. Since for whatever reason we have not unlocked sanitation yet. Maddening. We're going to put a cemetery over here. Fine, we'll stick a cemetery over here. need communications because we're kind of already overfilled so that'd be kind of foolish here all right so we can get somebody here and we have enough houses for them don't we we do All right.
All right, so I think we're going to leave it here for now. I'm uh, starting to run out of time here. And uh, we got the needle moving a little bit on the expansion front for Sanctuary Hills. And next time, we uh, are finally going to do the Commonwealth of Police Department goodies. Right, Roger? Right? Can't you tell how excited he is? All right, get... Wait a minute. That doesn't look right. Okay, we're not quite done yet. Okay, we've suddenly lost our connection to the rest of... What the hell? Well, that's not good. Owner incapacitated. Alright, we need to find our incapacitated owner. This could be a disaster in the making. What is going on with you? Incap owner does not look incapacitated. I just need to trade gear with you. Sure. Okay. I think... <sighs> and Carne is swimming in the fountain. Okay, well I think I'm going to need to do a little digging as to what the hell is going on with my settler. And... Once I figure that out, uh, we'll get that sorted out. But I guess for now, Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer for Sim Settlements 2 on Fallout 4, and we'll see you next time.